All right, y'all, welcome back to the Mace Family Homestead. Today, we're gonna to be doing the seed starting system that we're gonna be setting up. As you can see behind me, we finally got the windows completed and everything is framed in. So sorry about the brightness, but uh, that's exactly what we want because this is our south facing window, as I told y'all before. And we really want the sun to come in and to help our seed system go ahead and uh, get our seeds started for this upcoming season. I've already got my lights, we've got everything else. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll kind of show you how we're doing everything. This is all built out of uh, wood already on hand. I bought these uh, cedar planks, they're two foot. I bought uh, 125 of them for 20 bucks from the local lumber store. They cut them down and they gave me a deal. So that's there. What I did was rip down, what I did was rip down some two by fours so that I could get more out of it. This is eight foot, which matches my uh, windows that I have here. Uh, I'm currently sectioning in these uh, 20 and 5 eighths uh, stakes so that I can put the legs on that I have, that I made today. So that's where it stands. And currently, kind of like a, a review, uh, I've got this works and uh, it's kind of nice to be able to swap between drilling and uh, screwing everything in. So uh, I got this off of the uh, finger hut. <laughs> so this works is really kind of worth it. Uh, I highly recommend it. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going with what we're doing. Uh, I would have taken y'all outside as I assembled this, uh, but it's really, really windy out here in New Mexico. Uh, that's the biggest threat to our plants is uh, the wind. So let's go ahead and keep pushing through uh, to uh, get the seed starter thing built. And uh, I'm gonna keep listening to my Will and Jennings. I just kind of wanted to give you an update on where we're at right now with this build. Uh, we just completed the two back panels and all I did was just measure out these as two foot, these two pieces as two foot, and then cut this in half because I wasn't going to buy another two by four that could fit elongated this way. But as you can tell, it is capturing the sun really well. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna put the roof on and then we're gonna put a door here, just a couple small doors so that we can get in and out of this thing easily. Uh, so, and then I've got the lights I'm gonna bring out here shortly and make sure to see uh, how long they're gonna be and where everything's gonna sit. So, uh, again, we're just making this. This is not gonna be a pretty project. Uh, we're not making this to be uh, glamorized in any way. We're making it to be functional. So that's exactly what we need. We need the functionality of having some place to start our seats. I've got these uh, trays already here uh, that I know that are gonna fit. Uh, I got these cedar planks from the local lumber store. I got them, I got like uh, 250 of them. Uh, he guy charged me 50 bucks for them. So, they're all out in the shed and I haven't been able to use them yet, but they're all cedar. So I know that it's going to be uh, good to go. It's a little shaky still. I'm going to put some bracing underneath. All right, y'all, what I did is I put a brace here up front and a, the same type of brace on the opposite side of the back. And it really, 
stabilize this uh, table. So I'm kind of glad I built these little just shelves just so I can store stuff on it if I need to uh, when we move this outside for hardening off the plants. Again, this may not be pretty, but we're, again, we're not here for a beauty contest. We're here to raise food, and that's the most important thing. So let's go ahead and start tackling out uh, the front of this with the doors and then get the roof on so we can get our seeds ready to start planting because, again, February 21st is when we need to have everything ready. y'all the uh, seed starter system is done I made the doors so that they can actually drop down uh, like this so I can get in there with these uh, again this was made with uh, the wood that we had on property it's not exactly straight hence the uh, that uh, but it still seals, doesn't take very much. I got my locks on. We're gonna push this against the uh, window tomorrow. And then we're gonna get ready to start our seeds uh, the next day so that this way everything can be uh, ready to go for our upcoming planting season. Uh, this was built again with just two by fours and what I did is I put my table saw at an inch and a half and just ran the two by fours through to save money. So I already had some two by fours from when we did the crab key garden and uh, I just used those for these pieces here. They were, they were already, again, they were already short so it doesn't really matter. This is all shower curtain and it is taut. Uh, so I'm kind of happy with the way it came out not kind of I am happy and again as you can see down here the brace runs this way and then the front run runs this way I've got a little couple uh, pieces down here that uh, for the uh, uh, two-foot cedar planks that I already had and this way I can I can just go ahead and use this as a, a small area, and if I want to close this off, I can make this into a, uh, a little storage area because of the dogs, because of the Great Danes, they love to get in everything. So all I got to do is just push this back, and uh, we'll be able to fit so much. The total length of this is just a little over eight feet. Again, I don't need this to win beauty contests. I just needed to start seeds, and that's all I really care about. I don't care if it looks ugly, um, but the good thing is it's light. It's not heavy whatsoever, so that if Tracy and I want to move this outside, we can do that without issue. So I hope y'all kind of get inspiration from this, and uh, please like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification for when we upload videos. Uh, also, I ask that uh, y'all pray for a friend of ours. He's been diagnosed with COVID and it's really taken over his system. And uh, so he's currently in the hospital and that's why we haven't posted anything yet. So, but I do love y'all. God bless y'all and y'all have a good day.